the second video of the part 1 starts from here. We can do this conversion by using alcoholic potassium cyanide and heating it or sodium cyanide and heating it. So here I'll be converting alkyl halide into alkyl nitrile uh, using alcoholic potassium cyanide. So now you can see here that here we have one alkyl group that means uh, say we have one carbon atom but here you can see we have one alkyl group and another carbon atom has been introduced. So now uh, this product contains a one more carbon atom as compared to the parent alkyl halide. So this is known as ascent of series because one more carbon atom has been introduced and the product that we'll be getting will be containing one more carbon atom as compared to the parent compound. Now again there's a problem. We cannot convert this alkyl nitrile into higher allopathic alcohols. We again need to uh, take an indirect route or a longer route. So first of all we need to convert the cyanide or alkyl nitrile into alkali amine through a reduction process using lithium aluminum hydride and then we need to convert this alkali amine into higher alcohol using nitrous acid. So here, first of all, I will convert this cyanide group or alkyl nitrile into alkali amine using lithium aluminum hydride. You can see here that the carbon atom of the cyanide group has been converted into methyl group here. So at this point, there is introduction of one more carbon atom into the carbon chain. And due to this, the product will have one more carbon atom as compared to the parent compound. And then I will convert this alkali amine into higher alcohol using nitrous acid. This nitrous acid is prepared in situ from a mineral acid that is hydrochloric acid and sodium nitride. So uh, if we react sodium nitride and hydrochloric acid, we get this nitrous acid which is used to get the alcohol. In fact, I have written a direct step from alkali amine to alcohol. So if I write the detailed step, it will be like this. Uh, this alkali amine, when we react with nitrous acid uh, in the presence of their sodium nitride and hydrochloric acid, first of all, we will get aliphatic disonium salt. So this is aliphatic disonium salt. And when we react this disonium salt with water and then we will get the required alcohol with the liberation of nitrogen gas and HCl. So in case if you want to write uh, the reagents used for the direct conversion of this uh, alkali amine to alcohol without showing the step, you, you can write it down like this. The first step will form the aliphatic diazonium salt and this water will convert the diazonium salt into the corresponding alcohol. So this was the whole process of converting a lower aliphatic alcohol into higher. Let us solve one example. Let us convert ethanol to propane 1 all. Ethanol is CH3CH2OH and propane 1 all is CH3CH2CH2OH. So there are two methods of doing this. Uh, this is the first method and this is a shortcut that is the second method. So first of all I'll be converting ethanol to chloroethane using phosphorus pentachloride. Now I'll be converting this chloroethane into propyl nitrile or ethyl cyanide using alcohol potassium cyanide. Then I'll be converting this propyl nitrile into propylamine by reduction through lithium aluminum hydride. Here you can see on reduction the carbon atom of the cyanide group gets converted into methyl group. So here we will get the product which has one more carbon atom as compared to the parent propyl nitrile. Then I will be converting this propyl amine into an higher alcohol using nitrous acid. 
So here we have propane 1 ohm, which is the final product and the conversion we needed. So these are the steps we need to follow. Now the second is using a shortcut where we can convert directly an alcohol into propyl nitrile. So in this case I will be converting ethanol into propyl nitrile using copper iodide, BPY and tempo in presence of oxygen. And the rest from here we can convert uh, the nitrile into propyliamine using reduction process and then uh, using nitrous acid we can get the propane one all. So uh, this is the direct conversion which will uh, eliminate the process of converting an alcohol into alkyl halide. Thank you very much. This is the end of part one. For watching the part two and many more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.